Could you imagine playing a role in one of the miracles that Jesus performed? I want you to think about that for a second. In this story, a young boy offered food to be used by the Lord and something incredible was done, right? Jesus was in need and the child offered what he had. One of the greatest parts of this miracle was that the little boy was willing to offer just his resources, that's it. When Jesus and the disciples needed food for the crowd, the little boy was willing and he gave it all, right? It didn't say he kept back a little loaf for himself, he gave everything he had to Jesus. Was what the little boy had enough to feed 5,000 people? Not a chance. It was enough for him and his father. That is a miraculous part of the story that we just heard. That even though the offering was not enough for the crowd, it was exactly what Jesus needed. Just like Jesus has a tendency to do here in this moment, Jesus gives abundantly. He used the gifts that were there to provide for all. Jesus chose to include a little boy in offering this miracle. And we have to ask ourselves, why? Friends, I think that in this moment, Jesus wants to remind all of us that we have to be the people we are. We have what we have in order to give. This little child's gift impacts the lives of everybody around. It wasn't until the people had been fed that they decided that Jesus was going to be their king. So think about this. They heard Jesus preaching and teaching and they saw him performing miracles of healing all day long. And then when Jesus invites them to sit and eat, then they say, oh, he's got to be the king. Sometimes offering what we have helps others to see what God is really doing right around us. It was after that little boy offered all he had that they finally experienced what Jesus was bringing. And in this moment, this little boy expressed a childlike faith for all of us to remember. This little boy is going to be remembered for the length entirety of history because he was willing to give to Jesus what Jesus needed in order to bless the community around him. We are blessed with our gifts, our talents, our intellect, our wisdom, our faith, and all the other spiritual gifts that we have in order for us to be a blessing to everyone around us. We cannot be selfish with what we have. May we remember that it's not about bread and fish, but instead let us think of how this story is a reminder that we are to use what God has given us to make the world around us a better, safer, more loving place like God demands. May we use our gifts to bless others in our lives so that they can see Jesus at work in and through us. May we all love others so much that we're willing to act selflessly to help those around us every chance that we have. And friends, may we each trust in Jesus. May we trust him with our resources, our gifts, our money, our abilities, and our very lives so that we may help to multiply his purpose for the world through our offerings.